Naguya Nishiahung is covering the last stretch of his journey by boat after traveling from Ho Chi Minh City to this remote area of the Mekong Delta. It's early morning, and the people who live along the Mekong Delta are beginning a new day. People in this part of southern Vietnam live from and with the river, which is the longest in Southeast Asia. But increasingly, it's proving to be a liability for them. Hydrologic engineer Naguya Nishia Hung is here to determine the effects of climate change on the level of the river and the risk of flooding in the delta. He's installing a series of buoys that are fitted with satellite-aided sensors. They store data about the water level for him to call up at regular intervals. We don't know enough about the consequences of climate change for the Mekong Delta, but there are clear alarm signals. It used to take three or four months for a surge from Laos to reach the Delta, but now the floodwaters are coming quicker and more frequently. The Mekong Delta is one of the most densely populated regions of Vietnam. Many areas flood during the rainy season, something the locals have adapted to. But for hundreds of thousands of people, the prospect of a fully-fledged flood disaster is something that no amount of preparation can deal with. Nguyen and Nishia Hong is eager to listen to villagers' experiences. The last rainy season saw record high water levels. Uh, the most devastating flood to date here was in 2000. It killed several hundred people. We had to flee from our village and lost almost everything, including my fields. The government must take more action to protect us. We need higher dams and higher foundations for our houses. Nguyen Nishia Hung has set up a research center in Son Am Long. It has a satellite antenna linked up to the buoys. The data he gathers is just a tiny part of the mosaic that makes up an international monitoring system for the Mekong Delta. This is where data gathered from various projects is put together the German Aerospace Center near Munich. It's coordinating the biggest research project on the Delta to date. More than 60 German and Vietnamese scientists are working on a system that will be a bit like Google Earth. The Vietnamese authorities will be able to call up information on flood risks, water quality and other indicators at the click of a mouse. The information system is designed to help the relevant authorities make decisions about industry and agriculture. At the moment, there are plans for new factories in Vietnam that would definitely be flooded in 10 or 20 years' time due to the rising sea levels. The visualization makes it far easier to detect developments and perhaps to detect the potential danger. Flooding and seawater intrusion also pose problems for the water supply in the delta. Pollution and salt water from the sea are a major threat to the millions of people who depend on the tributaries of the Mekong for water. So scientists involved in the project are also gathering data on water quality. This group of PhD students from the University of Canto, the biggest city in the Delta region, are on their way to the area being analyzed. They're examining the role of agriculture in the water supply. Pesticides and other chemicals used on the rice fields can pass through drains and straight into the water cycle. Until now, people here had no idea that there are pesticides in the water. They have no means of doing their own measurements, and they haven't been given any information. Our field research aims to change that. Yeah. 
Preliminary findings indicate that pesticide levels in the Mekong Delta are several times that permitted under international standards. The researchers believe that more information and education are crucial. Many farmers are simply unaware of the damage excessive pesticide use can cause. Researchers back at the German Aerospace Center in Munich process the data along with information gathered from further afield. The Terra-SAR-X Earth Observation Satellite captures high-definition images of the Mekong Delta, which are then incorporated into the new water monitoring system. We've already determined a continual increase in extreme events in the Mekong Delta. We're seeing a greater frequency of droughts and floods. Of course people are concerned. It's a challenge for them, one they have to deal with. This is a typical river market on the Mekong, and a graphic illustration of how closely people's lives are tied to the river. The delta is one of the most fertile regions of Vietnam, but also one of the most vulnerable. The new monitoring system is set to be up and running by 2011. The hope is that more accurate estimates of potential dangers will enable the local authorities to better provide protection for those that live here.